Hi, good evening to everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Dr. Philip McMillan. I've been talking about COVID-19 since early 2020, focused on autoimmunity and trying to see if I can bring the science to the public in a way that makes sense. And so I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. I am reading a story, Humming Heroes. Now, I've tried this before and it has had some benefit, but this time I've collaborated with Lumentia Publishers, who is also my brother, to try and come up with something unique. So I'll be taking a few sections of it just to show you what it will be about and try and get you to see if you're interested in joining our Kickstarter program in a few weeks' time. This is going to be my background where I'll be reading the story and I'll be going through just a few images just so that it makes sense. So I hope that this is as enjoyable to you as it will be for me. But before I start, I'd just like to remind everyone that coming up next week, Thursday, is this uh, webinar on nitric oxide and COVID potential strategies for improved outcomes. This is also what the book is about. And this is why the two things have dovetailed together in that I am aiming to try and raise the awareness of just how important this molecule is, nitric oxide, and critically how it can, in my view, potentially impact the whole pandemic if we understand just how significant it is. So in the description below will also be a link for you to go to Macmillan Research. This is where we are uh, hosting the information and that's where you can then get a chance to sign up for the Kickstarter campaign for the free upcoming ebook and it will be two parts to this because after I finish the presentation we're going to make that into an ebook as well that's quite interesting and the sections that I'm sharing will also be included with the ebook of the story so this is what we're trying to see if we can do. So please, um, as usual, I will take the criticism if it doesn't work. But if it does work, please share and let me know whether or not we're onto something that can be beneficial. So let's start with the basic uh, bits. I'll go by the fireplace. And this is where I'm going to start the story. You can see the lovely background. Rain is falling. It's nice and warm. I don't know what city this is outside here, but it looks lovely. And you have the storybook that's right there, for which I'll only take a few pages, but give you an idea as to what it's about. So let's start. A little boy sleeps without a care as his gentle breathing fills the air and tiny things drift into his nose. What will they do there? Goodness knows. Deep inside him, a hidden world lies, a mysterious, magical place full of life, defending this world, always ready to fight, a lymphocyte family stands guard day and night. This is technically the story of how the immune system works to fight against COVID. And so this is what we're trying to bring to life through the story and hopefully help people to understand how simple strategies can make a difference when we all do them at the same time. So this is one of them that I'm bringing to light. So let's give another section. So this is not in order. These are just clips from the story. The mother guides with wisdom and care, ensuring that all's done is good and fair, fighting bad creatures, keeping harm away, protecting their world, throughout the day. In child, inside the child's nostril, one morning bright, brother asks baby to help guard the site. After handing over duty just for a while, baby patrols the area 
with a radiant smile. And you can see these images here. These are quite detailed, and these are supposed to be the brother lymphocyte. This would be the baby lymphocyte. And inside here are supposed to represent the cilia that you have in the nose, and there's mucus and so on. So all of this is supposed to be part of that immune process that the body has in the upper airway. And it's kind of like bringing that whole idea to life in a way that can make sense. And um, in this picture here, this represents the first time that the baby lymphocyte comes across a novel virus that it hadn't seen before. And this would be technically the COVID-19. Baby hums a tune, gentle and sweet. The creature swims around, trying to retreat. When she stops humming, its restlessness ceases and to her surprise, splits into pieces. And so this is here representing the fact that the virus doesn't like the humming. But this is where the science comes in, and this is what I was trying to explain, the point about nitric oxide, the link to humming, and that's what the webinar is about. I'm going to try and build out the science around nitric oxide and its uh, the characteristics with regards to its antiviral, antibacterial properties, and critically its location in the body, how it is that it could make this difference. And so this is another section after the virus had taken over the whole of the upper area and was doing its damage. And so this again, you can see here, is that this is now the cilia are damaged, there is virus floating everywhere, the lymphocytes are running out of options. And this is why it says, the area is overrun, to the invaders it yields. Dead cells are strewn over the battlefields. The lymphocytes fall back, a strategic retreat, as the infected cells spread, causing chaos and defeat. So, as I said, this is showing the damage from the infection. And again, trying to capture the idea and bring it to life in a way that can make sense to anyone. Even a child would hopefully be able to look at this and enjoy the story and learn from it. And one of the final slides here that I've got, and this is showing at the end. So uh, this, these are only a few from the book. Uh, there are many more. But here is one of the slides towards the end. For her wit and courage, baby shone bright, hailed as the hero who turned back the night. The lymphocyte family, as common sense demands, now made humming an important part of their plans. And this is showing the success that happened. And in the story, it tells how it was that this was able to overcome the virus just through this simple action. And this is where you're trying to take the ideas of science and put them in a way that makes sense to anybody where we can work together and find solutions. My view is that we all have to find solutions. And because it seems that our scientific community has run out of ideas, my role is to try and bring ideas to people, to help everyone to know that there are always solutions. They may not be obvious, but they will always be present. And if we just work together, we can find ways of bringing creativity to science and bringing solutions that may not have been there before. So that's in essence what it is that um, we're doing. And what we're asking people is that if they find this valuable, join us in this process. Register for the Kickstarter. As I said, there will be two books that are coming. One is going to be that book that I'm, re I'm reading that you can read to almost anyone. It's not that long. And also trying to put the science in a bit more of, a, I guess, a, a scientific uh, explanation in case that was being shared with someone else. My vision is that this idea goes viral. That means that so many people understand it and do it that it really, truly makes a difference to the pandemic ahead of us. So thank you very, very much for staying with us. I hope that you've found that this is valuable and uh, we'd look forward to being able 
to bring further ideas to you, especially if this actually brings a solution and a way forward. Have a great evening.